The First Minister has been accused of withholding the news that a Korean company had pulled out of a major project to develop offshore wind turbines. Just over a year ago, the engineering firm Doosan announced plans to develop a new base at its site in Renfrew, which could have created hundreds of jobs. But in December, it decided to abandon the project, although the news has only just emerged. Here's our business and economy editor, Douglas Fraser. There's a lot of kit required to meet Britain's offshore wind ambitions and one of Korea's biggest engineering firms, already an employer here, last year chose Renfrew for the design of turbines, saying it also wanted to make them in Scotland. It's now becoming a global centre for renewables and I think it's established itself and that's, that's, that's to be applauded. I think that's very positive. It's, it's creating opportunities for, for big engineering sort of giants like ourselves. But then it had second thoughts and we've only just been told. In light of the overall economic conditions and liquidity issues in Europe, Doosan Power Systems decided in December 2011 to withdraw from its plans for developing offshore wind turbines in Scotland. The Scottish Government has known that for four months, but kept saying Doosan remained a big inward investment success. So why did he, his ministers and his MSPs and his press office keep on talking as if it was coming? The reason that we keep good relationships with Doosan is that an important employer in Scotland. We have every expectation that Doosan will be making further investments in Scotland. Apart from the political row over the handling of bad news, this tells us a lot about the renewable energy business. In financial districts like this, the money is tight. For those who want to break into this market, the technology is daunting. And linking the jobs to Scotland's natural resource is proving tough going. So far, Campbelltown is the only place turbines are made in Scotland, but it's had financial difficulties. Leith docks have been earmarked for Spanish firm Gamesa to make turbines, but it's not fully committed yet. This is not just about making turbines, though. There are big hopes for building the platforms in Easter Ross, as they've already been doing at Methyl in Fife, and engineering jobs have come to Glasgow. But the review of subsidies for renewable energy continues to cause uncertainty. Today, with what's going on in the in the entry market review and the detail and what's happening in the cost of technology, there is sufficient uncertainty today, I think, to create for some companies a lack of confidence. With the energy market in flux and credit tight, there's no guarantee that Scotland's natural resource will plug into a bright economic future. Douglas Fraser, Reporting Scotland.